Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Bushcraft necklace made by Wazoo Survival Gear. I was sent a couple of these to uh, test, and uh, those of you that have been following me for a while know that I do get to uh, test out a lot of different ferro rods and uh, flint and steel and all sorts of different uh, fire starters. And I like this one. I uh, found that it was pretty cool uh, just because of the concept itself. Uh, if you think about it, it is a necklace. So here's something that if you choose, you can have with you at, at all times. Uh, pretty cool leather cordage that we have here that you could even attach uh, right to your gear itself if you don't feel like wearing this. Uh, but the cool thing about it, is it actually looks pretty cool. Um, has that little uh, bushcraft and uh, minim minimalist uh, feel to it. But of course, the best part about it is that it is practical because it does have this little ferro rod here and this uh, very cool ceramic scraper. Uh, other features is that this is adjustable. So you have these mountaineering type knots here, all right, that you can make it smaller, uh, longer, bigger, once again, to fit your size. And of course, uh, when we do put it into application in a uh, few minutes, you'll see that uh, we're able to also uh, adjust it further so that we get more real estate here in order to be able to, uh, to do some work. If you notice here, it also comes uh, with a uh, bit of uh, juke twine attached here. Excellent uh, fire starter. And uh, the actual manufacturers actually uh, dip it in a beeswax. So it gives you more of that lighting effect, similar to what we do with the uh, cotton balls and uh, petroleum jelly. Uh, so that it gives you that longer flame and a little bit more time to actually get your fire started. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing. And you get some here that you'll be able to practice. And if you have the skill down, then you have something here that you could use in the future for emergency situations. Now here on the uh, uh, ceramic scraper, all right, so this is what we're actually going to use as uh, the old school flint and steel. This would uh, sum up the, uh, the steel part, okay? And what we're gonna do is uh, it has these little edges here. Okay, I don't know if it's uh, difficult for you to see on camera, but uh, pretty much you can use either side. And we're gonna go ahead with a scraping motion uh, to get this started, similar to uh, the way that you see uh, other tutorials that I've made in the past. Uh, once again, this isn't a tutorial, it's a video review, so I don't want to get into too much depth. Uh, but once again, I'm just trying to pick up maybe the subtle nuances uh, to make things a little bit easier for you uh, in the future when you do attempt uh, to uh, start a fire with this uh, bushcraft necklace. Now, just like uh, most ferro rods uh, out there, this do does come with a uh, bit of a coating. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and scrape that off uh, so that you could reveal uh, what's underneath, which is actually uh, the ferro rod that we need to get the sparks from. So you want to get rid of this lacquer or black paint or whatever the case may be, so that you could actually uh, have much better uh, opportunity or chance uh, by getting really down to that good real estate, which is what we need to be able to uh, spend, send that spark to our little bundle to uh, get our fire started. As usual, just like uh, any other skill, everybody has their little nuances and the way that they like to do things and the way that they practice and everybody thinks their way is best. And hey, uh, who am I to say anything about that if it works for you? All right, but what I like to do, and uh, you know, once again, just another option is we see many people wasting their time and always just kind of sending everything forward and end up busting their knuckles on the fire ring stones or, or something like that. And not only that, you're sending these sparks and you're projecting them kind of away. Um, what I like to do, once again, just my opinion, I like to hold it kind of a, on a little 45 degree angle here, aim it towards my source. And what I'm actually gonna do is pull back on the ferro rod itself. All right, so instead of really just pushing forward with the scraper, I'm actually gonna hold the scraper still at that 45 and just pull back with the actual ferro rod. All right, so keep that in mind, just another technique that seems to work better for me over the years. Uh, and once again, it's just like everything else out there. So if you do start it some other way and it works for you, hey, that's great, as long as you get it to start. Once again, we're here just sharing experience, sharing knowledge, and uh, we all want to accomplish the same goal, which is to be prepared. So in summing things up, uh, the manufacturers, or, or actually the, uh, the vendors, the uh, Wazoo Survival Gear, have been uh, really helpful, uh, constantly selling email, uh, sending emails, uh, keeping me up to date on everything that's going on, uh, offering help. So it's pretty cool, you know, when you have people like that that are standing behind their product. Uh, it's also made in the USA, which is another great frac uh, um, feature, of course, that we're always trying to uh, look for. So uh, not a bad company to support. Uh, so keep in mind, they do have a lifetime warranty against any kind of, uh, you know, major defects or anything like that. Um, so, you know, be fair about that also. Don't go out there and misuse their product. 
and then state that there's a lifetime warranty and you want it back because that's not really cool. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. You wouldn't want anybody doing that to you if you're trying to start a business and do something with yourself, right? As usual, I will put all the specifications and uh, extra features that I might have missed uh, during this video review uh, in the blog post. So make sure that you check that out to get more information and also access uh, the link to where you can purchase one of your uh, Wazoo Bushcraft necklaces. I like it. Uh, I'm glad that they sent me two because usually I will uh, raffle one of them off to our uh, newsletter subscribers or our Natural Training Center members. And, uh, you know, luckily this time I got an extra one to keep for myself. So I am being a bit greedy here. All right. Once again, this is Helder. Hope that you enjoyed this review.